Hi, this is Ed Vasquez, and I want to talk about the re-examining cultural identity, self-reflection, and synthesis of learning. A um, couple of things. First of all, some of the new ideas that in, were informational uh, for me in this class were my current for my current and future teaching practices. Encompass a, a social class and the three distinct categories, and I now understand the importance of understanding social classes and the connecting of the community resources to help students that have learning barriers. Maybe it's because of language, study skills, mental illness, or multicultural differences. Also, I have a greater understanding of all the student uh, information, including uh, SPED students, and how to support an all-inclusive, multicultural, global, appropriate classroom. Uh, considerations, inter uh, intercede, um, with beliefs, practice, and Jesuit values. Um, my teaching practices will be influenced by the beliefs, the community resource referrals, understanding my students and their families more. I want to customize my lesson plans to fit everyone and uh, take into consideration the uh, collaborative classroom. My teaching practice will be influenced by community resource referrals and again, I'll be practicing, practicing, practicing with my understanding of my students and their families. Um, the other thing, the Jesuit values that stand out the most are pursuit of justice on behalf of all people, men and women for each other, unity of mind and heart. Our hearts and minds are not divided. And basically, care for the personal development of the whole person. The personal items are strengthening spiritual life, finding God in all things, and God is present everywhere, in addition to politics. Those are more personal and things you don't talk about with your kids. Um, mapping stories. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about community outreach and Habitat for Humanity. Those are the two that are the strongest. They provide medical coverage, appropriate living conditions, shelters, and counseling. Uh, the other... Um, Resources include the North Glen Rec Center, North Denver Care Food Pantries, um, bank school supplies for teachers, Anythink Library, which has high-powered computers with free library resources, um, free videos, and then uh, finally the two big ticket items that I see are in the academic world are the Bowman Technical Center, which teaches um, courses in auto mechanics and uh, sports medicine, medical foundations, and then also Vantage Point is, no pun intended, but they're sporting 300 graduates a year. These are children that had trouble with um, language uh, barriers, um, behavioral issues, and they were given a second chance and the school transformed them to the degree that they were, they graduated, okay? Um, finally, the uh, big ticket items Technology is leveling the playing field. Translators on the smartphones and tablets, um, paras, SPED teachers, um, curriculums customized through the state, and then the counseling support is, is extremely essential. Um, first of all, how will I apply what I learned? I'll create a game plan for all my classes and then start to customize each class. Then break down the stations of teaching even further uh, by looking for learning barriers. What will I change? I will get to know my students more and utilize the information that I learned during the past eight weeks. I'm not as concerned about distractions when I'm getting to know my students. Are there some lessons to be learned in this? Uh, the biggest lesson revolves around universal design, UDL. And I now understand that you cannot teach every class the same way. Sometimes lectures are good, other times it's project work or group presentations. Field trips and really inviting presence, uh, parents into the classroom is helpful. Well, creating appropriate classroom also fits under the umbrella of mapping, social classes, and learning barrier observations. Ideas that I learned from the text were insurmountable. I was amazed at how education has changed in society, particularly with technology, universal design, IEP, special circumstances, teachers training in multicultural environments, and having a great understanding of pluralistic ideology. 
gender neutral was eye awakening. It seems to be very apparent now with more and more ideas coming forth. The next, the text also breaks everything into granular detail and is a great resource for customizing lesson plans. The case studies bring up controversial issues that are extremely helpful um, and teachers in the end can be a vital link to the success of kids.